everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am making my sweet and sour pork. So I'm just going to get started here and right here I have one and a half cups of flour stuck into our bowl and to that we're going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. Also to that, we're going to add a little bit of salt, probably about a teaspoon or so, half a teaspoon. We're going to add some black pepper. We're going to add some garlic salt, probably about a teaspoon or so. And we're going to add some seasoning salt. We are going to put in one tablespoon of seasoning salt. Okay. And this is my beer batter that I'm making. And so we're going to just go ahead and stir this all up. The seasoning salt and all the other spices make it taste really good, this batter. Um, if you don't have seasoning salt or garlic salt, you can always improvise with like garlic powder, um, a little bit of salt. Um, steak seasoning I have improvised with since I, um, sometimes I have, I'm out of seasoning salt. So, and this is a really good dinner. Um, the batter's not too bad. I mean, it just takes a few ingredients. And then I have a 16-ounce can here. Usually I use a 12-ounce can um, for this batter. So we're going to see how much we need here. Usually I'll use the whole can, a 12-ounce, for this batter. So I might have a little bit left over. <laughs> guess I could turn my phone down, huh? Alrighty, there we go. Okay, pour in a little bit more beer. And I've got um, my deep fryer set between about 325 and 350. minutes to mix it all up. And you want to get it, you're want to gonna get it to a good consistency um, to dip your pieces in of pork. Now I went to the store and I just bought um, a pork roast and it was oh goodness it was um Gosh, it was pretty cheap. It was only like about four, four, four dollars and some odd cents for a pretty good size roast. So that's what I used. And I took and I cut it all up into uh, little size uh, squares, little pieces, probably about half inch pieces is how I cut it up. And towards the end, as you're pouring your beer in here, you're just going to want to put a little bit in at a time so you can get the right consistency to deep fry this. And this is a really good batter. You can use uh, shrimp, mushrooms, uh, the spear batter. It's really, really good just to deep fry, like I said, shrimp, mushrooms, onion rings, just anything you'd like to deep fry. This is a really, really good batter. And it turns out really, really crunchy. Um, so, yeah, I think you guys would really like this. Let me grab the meat here. You can 
And so here's our fork right here. And like I said, I cut it into probably about half inch size pieces or so. I'm gonna put this over here. And this is about how you're gonna want your consistency to your batter. So just enough to coat it. And then we're going to just take our pieces and dip them and deep fry them up. And you're going to want to put uh, one piece at a time into your deep fryer so they don't stick together. And I usually just do this with a fork and just put them in one at a time. And they come out so good, oh my gosh, just really, really good. Um, also, I have my recipe out there I put out probably about a month ago or so, maybe two months ago for my sweet and sour chicken. And it's pretty much the same the same way um, as I do my sweet and sour pork. And it's going to take probably, oh, probably about 10 minutes or so um, for each batch that you do. So I'm going to get it all cooked up and we'll be right back. Hello everyone and we are back. Now I've got all my um, pork all fried up here, um, deep fried. And as you can see how, oh my gosh, look at that, how good they turned out. And they are so, so yummy and uh, crispy. It's very, very hot. Um, I'll show you how crispy they are. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Very, very crunchy. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on our sauce. And to this pan, we are going to add three tablespoons of soy sauce. And to that, we're going to add two teaspoons of cornstarch we're going to mix that really good And this is a really, really good recipe. I think you guys will all really like it. The most time you're going to spend on this meal is deep frying your meat. It took me probably at least a good 30 minutes. And there's probably a little over a pound of uh, pork right here. So, okay, so we've got that in there. And then also we are going to add uh, three-fourths of a cup of pineapple juice. Pour that in. And then also, we're going to add some apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Try not to go over on the apple cider vinegar because a little goes a long way. Okay. Then we're going to mix that all up. We're going to put it on the heat. We're going to bring it to a boil. And you're just going to want to bring it up to just a simmer. Go. 
got it on about medium high or so and then also to this you're going to want to add three tablespoons of ketchup Once this comes to a boil, you're going to want to turn it down to simmer for just a, just like about one minute or so, and then it'll be done. So we are going to get a bigger bowl here. Let me see if I can find one. Oh my goodness. And the cornstarch kind of makes it uh, a little thin or a little thick. And oh, also don't forget your sugar. I have a third of a cup of sugar. I almost forgot that. Don't forget your sugar. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna stir this up really good. Mm, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yum yum yum. And you can also add, I've got about a cup of pineapples here, um, the tidbits. You can also add it if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, but usually I like at least a little, a couple of uh, tidbits in my sweet and sour pork. So we're going to add that here in just a minute. You're going to want to keep stirring this up a little bit. I said it's on about medium high or so. And this sauce is really, really good. It's very, very good. But like I said, don't try not to go over on the apple cider vinegar because if you use too much, it's it's just very, very overpowering. A lot of people just use regular vinegar in this, but I like using the apple cider. It gives it just that certain taste to it. Okay, it's starting to come to a boil now. So we're going to turn it down just a titch. We're going to pour all our pork here into a bowl. Like I said, this is a really good recipe for anything you want to deep fry. Okay. Now that's come to a simmer here, just to a boil, and we're going to shut it off. Stir it up really, really good. We're going to add just a few little bit of pineapple in here. Take as little or as much as you want. And then we're going to pour this all over our pork. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, and this is so yummy. You guys are really going to like this. And just go ahead, mix it all up, get all your pieces coated. Mm. Oh, and the smell smells so, so good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice and hot. 
And you can also make like rice or something for a side dish with this or just whatever to your liking. Put it on a plate and show you guys how it comes out. Oh man. Ooh. There we go. Oh my goodness. Yes. And there's the finished product. Oh my goodness, right? Yeah, you guys will really like it. And you can also even add a little uh, sesame seeds to it if you want. To give it a little bit more of a authentic restaurant look. Let me see if I can get this open here. Oh. <laughs> there we go. go mm, finished product so this is the end of my video and I hope you guys really try this out and enjoy you and if you haven't um, subscribed to me yet please do and hit that thumbs up button for me because it really helps me out and ring that bell so you guys get my notifications and you all have a wonderful night